Yo guys, Rush TV here and welcome to my first Footmas player review of FIFA 20. I think it's fair to say that Footmas so far has been a pretty dead promo. Although, EA have gone and released this Objectives Thiago Mendes card, which, don't get me wrong, does look quite cheeky. The one thing that confuses me though, is that why would EA release two very, very, very similar Objectives players uh, in terms of stats-wise, like Gabamin and Thiago Mendes are very similar. If you look at them, they're both CDMs and they both share very similar stats. Gabamin's a little bit better defensively, Thiago Mendes a little bit better offensively. Um, I don't understand the logic behind EA doing that, but nevertheless, if we, do have, yeah, if we do go have a look at the requirements to do this objective, they are pretty easy. It will probably only take you guys a good three, four hours, but in reality, for this card, it is probably going to be worth it. Uh, the loan, which I have already done, is very easy. You just need to score with a league and player in a rival's win. The rest of the requirements, guys. Win two squad battles matches on minimum professional difficulty with 11 league and players. That should be pretty easy. The midfield engine, score eight goals using midfielders and rivals. That should only take you guys a few games as well. The Sao Paulo touch, score and assist using Brazilian players in four separate rival wins. It's four separate rival matches, sorry. So it doesn't have to be a win, guys. That makes it a lot easier, although it isn't necessarily uh, the easiest. But if you guys use a predominantly Brazilian attack, you should be able to get it done uh, in four to five games. And lastly, Visionary, assist using two goals, using three balls in three separate rival wins. So then again, that's not too hard, guys. That should only take you guys a few matches. Um, if you guys are just focusing on that objective. So, not too hard to get Thiago Mendes. We've established that it should only take you guys about 10 matches maximum. Uh, if we go have a look at his stats now, guys, okay? We're playing him in a central midfielder role in a 4-5-1. So he's the only midfielder, guys, which is going to be interesting to see how we're going to use him in these two, three live matches that we're going to play with him. Uh, he's got a three-star weak foot, four-star skill moves. So in terms of creativity, the four-star skill moves could come in handy, except we're going to focus... Uh, if we have a look at the, the custom tactics that I put on him, guys, we're going to focus on uh, making sure he stays back while attacking because of the high medium work rates. He's going to want to push forward, I'm guessing. Uh, and in that center mid role, uh, being the only center mid, we want to make sure that he stays uh, more defensive. Although we will try and get forward and see how he does, uh, especially with those long shots, guys, because 86 shot power, 84 long shots do look pretty decent. They do look pretty decent. In terms of height, guys, he's not too tall. He's 5 foot 10. But then again, that should be enough uh, in terms of what we want him to play as because we want him to kind of be one of those N'Golo Kante type of players because we've gone and put an anchor chemistry style on him. He's boosted his pace up a fair amount. So he's now got 89 sprint speed, 79 acceleration, guys, which should come in handy. We've gone and looked at that shot power, very decent. In terms of passing, around the board, it's not too bad. The short passing is mainly the only one we really need, the short passing and vision in terms of the role that we're using him in, and he does have uh, plenty of that. So 87 short passing, 84 vision should be enough. Dribbling is very well-rounded. We don't really need to worry about that. Reactions and composure are fine. Agility is quite decent as well, uh, especially considering him that we're using uh, him as more of a defensive midfielder. The defensive stats, guys, is what we need to focus on building because uh, we are using him as that more defensive kind of midfielder. So we've gone and put an anchor chemistry style on him, boost that stand tackling from 81 up to 91, interceptions 86 up to 91, uh, and defensive awareness up plus 10. Uh, pretty much all the defensive stats around the board are boosted a lot. In terms of physical guys, the strength is not the best, but the aggression should be able to pull him through. I'm hoping that that is the case. Stamina at 92 looks absolutely amazing. If we compare him to Gabamin, very similar uh, in terms of uh, overall, I guess you could say, but I've gone and compared their overall in-game stats, and uh, Thiago Mendes has about 80 more. So. He's more of a well-rounded, more of a well-touched and finished center mid. So hopefully we can see that when we get into the couple of division rival games. Uh, but then again, as I said, the role that most of you guys are probably going to want to use him and um, most of you want to see me use him as is that more defensive kind of uh, midfielder who's going to be able to hold his own uh, and look after the back line. Although, as I said, we will try and go forward and shoot a couple of long shots if we do get the chance. Nevertheless, I'm in Division 7, guys. I do not know how to play FIFA to save my life. That is why you guys will see in the top left corner, covering my terrible record right now, is my show's social media. So if you aren't following my social medias right now, you can see it right there in the top left corner. Let's go. Let's get into a couple of games with Thiago Mendes and see if he is worth 
not the coins. He's worth your time to go and complete. Game number one with Thiago Mendes, and this is the guy's team. A very bog standard Premier League side. Nothing too scary right there. Mendes got the ball, he's got it back. He's gonna take a strike from deep. Oh, it's got off the crossbar. I think you got a fat deflection there, but that was decent. Mendes on defense here. Can he make a tackle? Let's go, let's follow him. There we go, nice little tackle there by Mendes. Good positioning, I was just jockeying. And now if you look at that pace, look how quickly he gets forward. That's gonna be really helpful in your midfield. There we go, well done, good pass. Here we go, Mendes coming forward nicely again. Look at that pace going forward. Lovely little bit of pass there, finish. Fortunately, straight to the keeper, but he really is the engine in that midfield as well, as well as coming back on defense and actually making those tackles as well. Mendes, run forward, here we go. What is this guy doing just sliding? What is he doing? What is he doing just sliding all over the place? I better score from this. Oh my God, you've got, oh, oh my God, this, oh, oh my, okay. I, I apologize for that. Here we go, Mendez. Nice little burber spin. Good bit of agility there to get past Ndombele. And look, he's actually muscling him off a little bit there. So that's well done. He's really agile on the ball. And unlike other CDMs, you can really tell that. Keeps going there in the Benzema. Yeah, that aggression really helps him out with his strength. So of course he, nice little interception. He's not the strongest, but uh, aggression makes him feel a lot stronger than he actually is. Let's take a long shot, very far out. Okay, that was a little bit too optimistic for me. But as I say this with a lot of cards, a lot of CDMs, uh, you may notice they may not have the best strength, but the aggression makes them feel a lot stronger. Uh, and you can definitely tell that with Marcel, um, so I'm calling, I'm calling Marcelo, I was gonna, um, Mendez, Mendez, that's it. So we're in the half time of the first game and I'd just like to point out how this card feels very, very, very similar to the likes of Allen uh, from Napoli. Very similar stats wise, but you can also tell in game that they do play very similar. Uh, very, uh, like they're very good on the ball as well. Um, so when you get the ball with, with Mendez, do not be afraid to run forward because he is agile uh, and he's got a bit of pace to him as well. So he can actually push forward uh, the ball and then pass it on to one of the attackers, which should be helpful. Let's get into the second half. Hopefully we can get a goal with him even. Imagine that. Oh my God, far out. Go Mendes. Go, go, go chase him. Chase him. Chase him. Ooh, nice little bit of aggression there. Almost got the ball for Ndombele. Can we defend this play? Can we? You've got to be kidding me. Every single shot this guy's took has gone in. To be fair, I have a 75 rated keeper, but what can you do? Look at Mendes pushing forward here. Oh my days, he's rapid. Look at him run through that gap there. That is absolutely insane. What an amazing run by Mendes. Almost finishes it off. Just ran through that defense like it wasn't even there. This keeper actually is so bad that it's, oh my god, guys. I literally was holding triangle there to push him out, and he just he just didn't even move. One thing I would like to point out with Mendes, though, is that in his usual position, if you leave him untouched, uh, manually he usually stays quite far back, which is a good thing because we do have him on stay back while attacking. But once I push forward with Mendes, he does take a long time to get back, and I think that is because of the high medium work rates. Um, so just be aware of that. Uh, it probably, what am I doing there? It's probably the safest bet is to use this guy with another supporting center mid with probably not high attacking work rates. Uh, just because sometimes you can leave the defense a little bit open if I do go on a run with Mendez. Mendez has the ball. Go on, Mendez. Nice little bit of agility there. Lovely bit of skill. Mendez with the shot. He still got it. Mendez. Mendez. Oh. Mendez. Yeah, yeah. Oh, he's magged him. Mendes has magged him. Oh, this is the Brazilian techers, guys. I'm telling you. And he's almost had enough aggression and strength to get the ball off him there. Still got the ball. Okay, got a little bit of carried away there. Can't lie. The first game is over, and we have lost. Our keeper made five saves to his keeper's 11, but we won't worry about that, guys. First game, Mendes did get an assist. I believe it was for, yeah, it was for our first and only goal. Uh, if we have a look, three shots, 11 passes, some nice dribbles as well. One out of six tackles, which I don't know how it was one out of six tackles, but okay. Overall, first game, Mendes felt quite good. Kind of that center mid role that I would expect from him. He's not going to be a brute uh, in terms of strength, but he's going to be an aggressive 
little pit bull. So for this next game, for something different, I'm going to be playing Thiago Mendes in a different role. In a 4-2-2, uh, he's going to have a supporting midfielder with Sanson, and we'll see how he performs there. Because although he is one of those centre mids who does kind of fit the requirements to be a single centre mid, he's quick so he can get back on defence. Uh, except you just have to be aware that with the high medium work rates, if you do push forward with this guy, he's going to be reluctant to come back on defense. So I feel like it's better for a center mid like Allen, like Kante, to play in a 4 5 1 just with one center, um, just with one center mid because they have the high defensive work rates and they don't really come forward at all. But for somebody like Thiago Mendes, who does like to go forward a little bit as well, and it isn't necessarily a bad thing because he is pretty good going forward, as you guys saw. Uh, in the first game, uh, it might be better to use him with a supporting center mid. So for the second and possibly final game, we will use him uh, with another center mid and see how he goes. That, that team is probably the worst than the team that I'm using right now. Okay, that attack though is overpowered. I will give him that. Oh my god. Oh my god. That literally went right through my defense. Good tackle by Mendes. That was aggressive, man. The key, the guy's just gone down like a bag of shite. And now we can go forward. Except he has been tackled by Sissoko. Another beast midfielder. Well, he is coming back. And we are probably going to concede because our defense is worse than anything you will ever see. Okay. Nice little one-two between the midfielders. Mendes pushing forward here. Pushing forward nicely. Still has the ball, although he has been tackled. Goes, passes out wide. Can we cross it in? Oh, my God. Just a little bit more of a through ball, and he would have been through there. So for this game, I do have Mendes on balanced uh, offensively, not on stay back while attacking. So as you guys may notice, he is pushing forward a lot more, and Sanson is more covering because I believe he has medium attacking work rate, Sanson. So yeah, I guess... I thought that went in. Oh, my days. I guess we'll have to, we'll see uh, Mendes in more of his uh, natural kind of role uh, for this game. Yeah, if we have a look at uh, Santon, he's got medium, medium work rate. So he's going to sit back a little bit more whilst uh, Mendes gets forward, makes those aggressive runs. Uh, so I guess we'll kind of see Mendes's inner pace and uh, offensive ability in this game. Although, as you guys would have seen from one of the clips earlier this game, he is really good at making some of those tackles sometimes. Back to Mendes. What can Mendes do here? What can he do here, the lad? Nice little bit of play there. Oh, I thought I'd get a goal there. Look at Mendes making that forward run. Wow. That was all the way. Oh my god, as if I haven't scored that. That was all the way from a corner. Mendes has gone and made that run forward. That really proves that he does want to get forward. There we go. Go, fake shot. Shoot. Oh my god, I thought that went in. Oh, I don't know if you guys thought that went in watching, but I thought that went in. That was a very loopy, curvy long shot, but. Didn't go in, unfortunately. Nice little interception by Mendes. Look at this pace to get forward. Oh my days, look at this pace! Look at this pace! Okay, that, that was a bad touch by me. I, I did push the ball forward, but he is rapid, man. Oh my god. As a midfielder, like a central midfielder, feels very, very, very quick. Oh my god, you have to score a rebound, don't you? Okay, well this is just fucking humiliation. Oh my god, he double sweated the ball and it went in. Oh my god. Can we score a goal with him? Oh, this is... Oh, oh, he's just walked through everyone because he's let me walk through everyone. We got the goal with Mendes. Let's go. The consolation goal. And I'm going to tap. That's the end of the second game. Let's just not talk about it. Mendes has gone and got man of the match. Uh, probably just because he did get that goal for us. Um, although, let me tell you guys, um, really, really does feel good. We had four out of five tackles right there. Uh, in terms of using him in a four, in, in a uh, two center mid formation or a one center mid formation, I'll talk about that when we get into the pros and cons, which we'll do right now. Uh, it is frustrating, although, guys, uh, that I do have to do a review just in two games. Otherwise, the video will be far too long. So I want you guys to let me know in the comment section down below. In fact, no, I'm going to put something up in the eye right now, guys. Um, do you, would you rather me see? Would you rather see me do player reviews post commentary or live commentary? So right now, of course, it's live commentary. I'm playing the games live. Or would you rather me talk over the games? Uh, and commentate them like that. Of course, there probably won't be a webcam. There might be a webcam there, uh, but I guess 
I guess we'll see. Would you rather see post commentary or live commentary? Make sure you vote in the eye. Uh, and let's get into the overall summary uh, and rating for Thiago Mendes. Okay, so Thiago Mendes, two games, one goal, one assist, guys. We pretty much got given that goal though for free. As I said before, to have a look at a player in 180 minutes and value uh, their overall rating, uh, value for time and everything is very difficult. But I am going to try my best, guys. Uh, so here we go. Let me discuss the pros first. The first pro for me has to be his pace, guys. For a center mid to have a player uh, in 84 sprint speed, oh my god, that is absolutely insane. And you could tell that in game, guys. This guy really runs away from players very well and very quickly. Uh, and in terms of uh, providing that team with that, pro providing the team with the engine to push the ball from the defensive midfield into the attack, and then playing a through ball to either winger or straight forward into the attack. Thiago Mendes does that absolutely brilliantly, uh, as you guys would have seen in many of the clips. He does instrument the play uh, a lot of the time, and especially uh, playing that central midfield role in the 4-5-1, he did do that very well. His next pro for me did go unseen quite a lot because you guys, there's not really much point in seeing them, but it was his passing. His short passing specifically was very, very accurate. Uh, so yeah, that's always a good thing. Uh, as I said before, the short passing and vision are probably the two main uh, stats you do need on a central midfielder slash center defensive midfielder and Thiago Mendes of course does have plenty of that So that's another pro for me. His next pro for me has to be his dribbling specifically his agility uh, it, It's a bit weird. Okay. I know he's only got 81 agility. I say only got but then again It's not crazy crazy crazy, but I did notice that on the ball in game he was very good at dribbling past players. Uh, his close control was very good as well. Uh, and just overall dribbling, guys, uh, I couldn't complain at all. And having a midfielder like Thiago Mendes, who was a lot shorter uh, and a lot quicker, it is important that they do have that decent enough agility and balance so they can actually turn, move, etc. His next pro for me has to be his defending, specifically his stand tackling. With the anchor chemistry style, guys, of course, it does boost that stand tackling significantly, and I did notice that in game. A lot of his tackles were so aggressive uh, and so strong that they just, they, they just made the player fall to the ground. Uh, maybe even on multiple occasions. I definitely knew that it happened at least once. But yeah, definitely the sand tackling is very strong. His interceptions were quite good as well, I cannot lie. Uh, except his stand tackling was the main kind of uh, thing that I noticed that he was very good at uh, defensively wise. In terms of physicality guys, let's talk physicality. Of course that stamina ticks all the boxes. Uh, stamina, 92 stamina, he does not get tired. That is definitely a pro. His next pro for me has to be his aggression though guys. Uh, 85 aggression, considering he's only got 70 strength, of course we are boosting that with that anchor chemistry style. He does feel a lot stronger in a lot of situations if you do go shoulder to shoulder. He is very pitbull like, as I did say in the first game. Uh, like Kante, like Allen, he doesn't want to give up the ball and he is very high aggression base, like Kante and like Allen. The four star skill moves did come in handy. I guess you could put that down as a pro, except it really didn't do much of a difference to me. Uh, Especially with you guys, uh, most of you are probably going to use this guy as a more defensive kind of midfielder. Although, I guess it is a nice thing to have the four-star skill moves if you do want to go forward and make those attacking runs with Mendes because he does have decent shot power and long shots, and of course, uh, he is decently quick as well. In terms of his negatives, guys, I honestly don't have a negative standing out at me. Uh, the only thing I guess I could say uh, is that I do wish he was a couple of inches taller and I do wish he could head of the ball because in the couple of instances uh, you guys probably wouldn't have seen in the clips that I did try and head of the ball with Mendes. He didn't, he wasn't really able to. He only has 72 jumping, of course, boosted with the anchor chemistry style and five foot 10, he isn't crazily tall. So if he was six foot, six foot one, similar to somebody like Gabamin, I would say that that would be much better. So I am gonna put that height down as a negative. The weak foot didn't worry me, guys. The three-star weak foot didn't really worry me. If I was to use him as more of a cam kind of player, it would be a bit of an issue. But since he's more of a defensive kind of midfielder, the three-star weak foot isn't necessarily much of an issue. So would I use this guy in a one center mid formation like the 4-5-1 we used or the 4-4-2 uh, that we used with the two center mids? Personally, guys, I must admit, I did actually prefer him in the one center mid role. Uh, um, but I mean, then again, it depends who you pair him up with in midfield. Just make sure uh, if you are using him in a two center mid formation, uh, make sure that you are using him with a midfielder 
uh, who does have at least medium defensive work rates. Uh, because with Mendez, with the high attack and work rates, if you do leave him on balanced, like I did in the 4-4-2, he is going to want to push forward because that's what his work rates say, right? So yeah, you could use this guy in a 4-5-1 uh, or just any formation with only one center mid. Just make sure though uh, that he does go back while attacking, uh, that you do have him on stay back while attacking. Because if you are using this guy as a defensive midfielder, you want to use him as a defensive midfielder, you don't want him pushing forward because it leaves your midfield so open. So now let's give Mendes an overall rating and value for time because he is an objective card. Uh, so yeah, I'd give him a an overall rating of an 8.4 out of 10 guys overall Very enjoyable card to use of course because he is quite quick and I like using fast players uh, And he is decent on the ball uh, Just I wish he did have a few things that he unfortunately he doesn't have uh, as I said the height uh, And the four star weak foot would be nice as well But I guess more so it's more just boosting some of those stats that he already has decent amounts of if he did have a little bit better agility, if he did have a little bit better defensive uh, abilities, then I would uh, up the rating a little bit. But an 8.4 is quite good in my opinion, and I'd give him a value for time for a 7.5 out of 10. It isn't too hard to get this card, as I will go uh, in front of, I showed you guys at the start of the video. If you, go, you guys want to see uh, what you have to do to get this card, it's really not too hard. It should probably take you about 3-4 hours max, I'd say. And you are getting a decent card out of it, except for me personally, who doesn't get much time to play this game. And for example, the average FIFA player who wouldn't get much time to play this game as well. It might take you a couple of days to get this card, which if he does fit into your team, that's cool. Uh, I would get this guy, but if you're going to use this guy as more of a super sub, I, would, I wouldn't. I wouldn't probably get him. Of course, finishing off about this card, I didn't really talk about his nation and uh, league. Ligue 1, of course, isn't the most desired of leagues in this game, but being a Brazilian player, he shouldn't be too hard to link. Uh, if you guys have an icon player as well, link him to somebody like Thiago Mendes if you really want to give him a crack. But yeah, overall, very fun card to use. Uh, 8.4 out of 10, 7.5 value for time. That's going to be the end of the play review, guys. Make sure you go like, subscribe, turn on post notifications if you haven't already, and let me know. Uh, what other Fulmers players you want to see me review in the comment section down below? Of course, um, these are going to be the only players I'm going to review from day three. But for day four, if you guys are watching this video, give me a comment and say, review this player and I'll try my best to review them. So thank you all for watching the video. Uh, and yeah, I'll catch you all in the next video. Peace.